Hey, if you're experiencing some relationship anxiety and you're insecure about the person you love leaving you, then it could be that you are sourcing your sense of security unconsciously in two areas. The first one is thinking that the more that you do in the relationship, the more security you'll create. Oftentimes what this equates to is overgiving, too much action, taking on the burden of keeping the relationship going by all of the actions that you're taking and the investment that you're putting in to keep it going. How this occurs to your partner is as needy and insecure and oftentimes smothering because you're almost trying to control the dynamic, control the intimacy by giving and giving and giving. The other place where insecurity can come up is if you believe that it rests on what you have. And if you think that your source of security comes from what you have, such as maybe the money that you have in the bank, the types of toys and the real estate or the wealth that you have, or perhaps it's your figure, then what will inevitably happen is because we don't have control over those things external, they may change with time. And so our security will be built on a house of cards that is victim to life circumstances. So if you can identify with sourcing your security from what you are doing and whether you're doing enough or what you have and whether you have enough, then what can you do? What kind of switch can you make to actually find more rooted, infinite security that only ripens with age? And I will say that it's to focus your security on who you are being in the relationship, okay? Not what you're doing or what you're having, but who you are being. And who you are being, the umbrella of that falls into what are the values and the standards that you live by? How do you respond to situations that are stressful? How do you face life's circumstances? And do you collapse under them feeling like a victim or do you carve your character out of marble and become a better, more resilient person because of that? When you can put your security in who you are being in the relationship and who you are being and how you're showing up in life, it is something that number one, it, it's actually what your partner has already fallen in love with. Your partner hasn't fallen in love with what you do or what you have. They fall in love with who you're being. And then two, it becomes something that is the source of your presence. It's the source of where your intimacy comes from. And as time goes on, it can't be taken away from you and it will only get better with your continued awareness.